Marisa Opsfeld, the former IMF chief economist, joins us. Mr. Opsfeld, thank you for joining us. So a lot of the focus is on Brexit, a lot of the focus is on the chances of a no deal and a referendum on fresh elections. What do we misunderstand about the UK economy? Will it be strong enough to withhold every scenario? Well, the UK economy is clearly slowing. There are clearly uh, uncertainties that are hitting investment, starting to hit consumer confidence. Um, you know, I worry that with a no-deal outcome, uh, there will be a lot of disruption and uh, more of a collapse than even we've seen to date. Okay. What does it mean for the rest of Europe? Could this actually be a game-changer, or does Euro, Europe actually strengthen on the back of whatever happens with Brexit? Well, uh, you know, an outcome would resolve uncertainty, but Europe is slowing. It's slowing pretty dramatically, particularly the German economy, which is the big driver of European developments. And uh, I don't think a no-deal Brexit helps it, helps it at all. I think the, the consequences in this current fragile environment could be worse than we think. Professor Opsfeld, wonderful to speak to you uh, today on our international economics. There seems to be so much debate on trade, and to me, so much of it is countable goods versus the more opaque services as well. Do we have good knowledge of our export and import flows? Just as one example, to take France or Germany, do we really understand service trade? Well, service trade is a, is a growing proportion of trade for the, the global economy. Uh, you know, for countries like the UK, it's particularly important, and um, uh, that's one of the reasons the threat of a, a no-deal Brexit is so uh, uh, important for the UK. But uh, I think we, we do have a good handle on it. The area where there will be a lot of um, movement, and there already is a lot of movement, but more in the coming years is in, in digital trade. And there, I think there is a challenge for um, keeping track of what is going on and for reporting. Uh, Maurice, what is the first indicator that you would look like at to, to indicate a global recession? Is it something in China? Is it stocks? Is it something else that economists should be looking at? Well, I think at the moment, global recession is not on the, on the near horizon. Uh, and it's hard to say what the, what the, the trigger would be. Uh, I would be looking for um, a fall in consumer confidence, uh, which has so far held up, held up pretty well. Uh, we are seeing worrisome indicators. We've seen uh, capital expenditure falling. We've seen trade shrinking, worrisome numbers out of Asia, out of Europe. We, we are seeing an expected slowdown in the U.S., uh, but uh, when we see that consumer confidence number start to fall, then we're in trouble.